<laughs> Come on in. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's me again. Um, this is a tutorial for the raise effect. And I think it's pretty cool. Nobody's asked for a tutorial, but I thought I'd do it because I haven't seen it. So I do what I want. So you get a clip. I'm going to go for a trick shot. It works with feeds. And trick shots, but I'm gonna go to trick shot. I think. Um, gotta find the right one now. Ah, go for that again. Go with you. So you gotta find your shot. Disable resample. Oh, get off best fill. You gotta disable resample. Skadoosh. Do that, and then split your clip, and then go a few frames after it, like that. Usually, it works better if it's twixted, but I'm not going to twix it just now because it takes too much time. So I'm going to drag it out, and uh, there's two ways of doing it, and I'm feeling generous, so I'll show you both. So you go to raise on Sony Vegas, and there's these two things here, and I just made a preset but I usually have to change it because sometimes it's shit so when you drag that on you get this which is already looks quite nice so you could copy those settings if you want them but just mess around with the threshold and the hold on. there's the threshold the amount that just like I don't know it doesn't do much but that's pretty good so I'm gonna just keep those settings like that because it looks nice and then um, I like to change the colour, I think purple works good but I like an orange or whatever I do like that too and you can change the saturation whatever but it's cool so you can do that or I'm just gonna take that off um, you can copy the clip and then you insert a video track and then paste it on the above track I'm just going to take out the audio. So then you just drag it on again. And just change whatever. If I get it back to where it was. Yeah, like that. And then just so it looks like it's coming on smoothly, because that just goes from there to there like that. You just kind of drag that above like that. So just after shot it's fading up. Oh. So that's pretty much it. And you can change it so that the you can kind of make it like a flare, like a motion track thing. So you can animate this and you can make it move like you just making your keyframe and change it so it's in a different place like from there to over there. Or you can just kind of make it like motion tracked a little bit. But yeah, it's a pretty nice effect, and not many people use it, so you should try that. Bad like up there. So I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so thank you for watching, guys.